Charlie Chase. Really? Yeah, silent days. Charlie's kind of an old time comedian now. <laughs> I mean, a great star, Charlie Chase. Yeah, he was a great star really? for, oh yeah, for uh, silent, silent films. Yeah. Ready? Now you two, when you get together, do you laugh a lot? You seem to. Yes, we, yes, we do. We do laugh a lot. We had Show him. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, did you spend a lot of time laughing on the set? I was watching the behind the scenes stuff and it looked like... You're talking about for Princess Bride? Yes. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. I mean, uh, I was very fortunate in uh, being able to work with close friends. I had Billy Crystal, who plays Miracle Max, and Christopher Guest, who plays Count Rugen. And uh, when we get together, we always have some fun. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Is that important to you, to work with people that you really like and are genuinely friends with? Yes. It, it, they don't necessarily have to be friends to start with, because you can't always uh, uh, orchestrate things to work out that way. But... I do like to find people that I enjoy being around. That I, you know, I, I, I spend time not only with the cast and but the crew. I cast the crew in a sense because, mm -hmm. you know, to make a film is a, is a very long process and it's a, a an intense process, and you want to be around people who are relaxed and calm. I'm not the most relaxed person. I'm a little bit nervous. I need people around me who are not running up the red flag every other minute. Mm -hmm. And there are also people you want to see that you'll look forward to seeing in the morning. And there's that, oh, there's that, there's that AD, that sound guy I like. Hey, how you doing, you know? So I like to have a, a, a group around me that's comfortable. Both of you have put a lot, of, lot into this film as far as, you know, from the gut. How is the I end just, product? I, I put a lot of conviction into it. Yeah. And, and, the, uh, and the money that made it possible at the beginning. And, uh, and the conviction comes from a long relationship with Rod and, and, uh, Rob and the kind of confidence I have in him and love and understanding of the, of the property. The rest of it is Rob's work with his actors, mm -hmm. director, and his partner and, and producer, Andy Scheinman. Uh, so those questions you have to well, turn around. Let me ask both of you, though. How do you, how do you feel about the end product? Oh, I just, I, I think it's one of the most remarkable films uh, I've ever seen. It, uh, it, I, I understand how difficult that it, it was to make because mm -hmm. I understand what went into the decision to make it. And uh, to combine the kind of uh, 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 frantic, wonderful, uh, uh, satirical comedy with a love story that works with the relationship between a grandfather and a little boy, uh, it's a rare director that could make it. How about I, you, Ray? I feel, you know, we... We achieved what we set out to do. That's the main thing. Uh, the most important thing for me, aside from pleasing myself, uh, in this case was to make Bill Goldman, who wrote the uh, book and the screenplay, feel good about it. Because this is a, uh, an author whose work I've admired for years. I've read just about everything he's written, and he wrote, he's written some great things, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and All the President's Men, and Marathon Man. And this is the, his favorite thing that he's ever written. And so it was very important that uh, this be translated to the screen uh, with his blessing. And uh, the fact that he loves this film, really loves it, is uh, a, a tremendous uh, satisfaction to me. Now, I understand this film was very important for his tombstone, correct? Yeah, well, yeah, that's what he used. That's, what he, that's, that's the speech he gave me, actually, when I first went to meet him. Uh, this film has been, they've been trying to make it for 14, 15 years. Uh, there's been a number of directors involved and studios involved and producers. And uh, when I th decided I wanted to try to make it, uh, Bill had not, Spinal Tap was out, but Bill had not seen it. Mm -hmm. uh, he screened that, and then The Sure Thing, which was in rough cut form, and it was not even released at that point, he screened that just to uh, allow me to have a meeting. It was almost like he wanted to check up on me to make mm -hmm. sure that I was somebody he would trust with his baby. And when I came to meet him in New York, he basically said, this is my favorite thing I've ever written, and I, w I want this on my tombstone, and basically, uh, what are you going to do? I mean, he was very protective to make sure mm -hmm. that I wouldn't mess up uh, his favorite work. And he saw very shortly after uh, we talked that uh, not only did I really understand the piece, but uh, that I was going to really help him get it realized. You've been getting a lot of praise in, as a director, and a lot of directors work a long time before you get the credit, a Rob Reiner film. Did you mm. expect something like that to happen so, so fast? 
No, I mean, you know, you just work along, and, and uh, I think that credit they give a lot nowadays. I don't think that's a, such a special thing anymore. But uh, I think what, <clears throat> what's, what's more uh, special about it is that I think people, and I, I'm lucky because uh, people know me from television, you know. Mm -hmm. There are very few directors that people know. I mean, Ronnie Howard is another one because he did uh, a lot of television. Mm -hmm. He did uh, Happy Days and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, Andy Griffith Show. But most people outside of Steven Spielberg, they wouldn't know who, what director did what. Mm -hmm. But with me coming to directing as a personality, they have an association. So they see my name and, and maybe that stands for something. I think in the old days, uh, uh, you know, an Alfred Hitchcock film would mean something. And people might go to film just because it's at Alfred Hitchcock, that would mean something. But mm -hmm. most of the time, uh, they don't. Uh, audiences don't respond to a director. They look at the stars and who's in the film and all that. But I think the television has given me a, a, a nice credibility. When the two of you worked together as far back as All in the Family, did you see this potential in Rob? I don't know that I directly thought this man should be a director uh, or will be, but uh, it was obvious he had to control something because uh, he had a very strong point of view about whatever he, uh, uh, he was involved in, and not just for himself as an actor, his moment or his moment with Carol, but for the whole spine of the piece. He cared about the whole story and invested much of himself in all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the way he fought, you know, the, the tenacity with which he fought for a point of view, w it was easy to understand that in some situation he was going to produce or manage or direct, or, but, but he was going to execute his vision of something. Are you proud of this, Rob? The Princess Pride? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it, uh, it, it's it's a film that's loaded with all kinds of uh, disparate elements, as Norman has said. Uh, it's got action adventure. It's got a love story. It's got comedy, a satirical look at things, and with the bedrock of the reality of a relationship between a grandfather and a grandson. And uh, you know, it blends all these things together. And I think uh, you know that's not such an easy thing to do. And I think we, uh, we achieved it, and I feel very, very good about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. Stop, please. <clears throat>